Welcome back to Mojo Group, Mike here. Today we're going to check out some airplanes that could be flying today, but they are not. These are some of the biggest failures of the aircraft industry. The first plane on the list is the Piper Jet. If you didn't know, Piper once upon a time was going to release the very first production single engine jet in the market. Millions of dollars went into designing a prototype. That prototype even took its first flight back in 2008. And this jet was supposed to be a game changer. A seven seat jet, single pilot, price point was around $2.2 million. And this is a jet that would go as fast as 400 miles per hour. You had a flight ceiling of 35,000 feet and the range was yet to be determined. Unfortunately, three years later in 2011, Piper decided to pull the plug. And that was the end of the Piper jet. Number two is the Pipisho Panthera. Yes, one of my favorite birds made this list. The Panthera is a sleek, four-seat design aircraft that is also fuel efficient. The Panthera was built to compete with the likes of the Cirrus SR-22, a true cross-country single pilot but also capable aircraft. This plane would travel at 200 knots while only burning 10 gallons of fuel per hour. We had been teased for so many years and finally the Panthera came to the United States. But unfortunately, this aircraft did not send much of the light of day because of insurance. Oh yeah, to insure one of these babies will cost you an arm and a leg. Matter of fact, the pilot requirement is so high that most people buying a Panthera would not have enough hours to make the requirement. This has caused many pilot owners to turn their nose away from this airplane. Who was to say, maybe the new Mosaic rule will change things around. Right now, you can find a used Panthera in the market for about $650,000. Now brand new, you're probably looking at closer to a million or more for this airplane. Number three is the Mooney M10. This one hurts the heart just a little bit. So many pilots, myself included, were very excited for the Mooney M10. Now Mooney is an aircraft company that's been plagued by a lot of losses over the years. But finally in 2015, they came out with a prototype, the M10. This M10 was supposed to attract new pilots, younger pilots, and it was also built for the training market. The M10 had three seats, a diesel engine with 155 horsepower, and it was an all composite airframe. Back in 2015, I even considered getting one of these as a first airplane. Unfortunately, the Mooney M10 project never made it to production. Shortly after being introduced at Oshkosh, Mooney later killed the project and probably went out of business twice since then. The M10 would have been a great entry level airplane for a lot of pilots, but unfortunately, we would never see that day. Number three is the Cessna 162 Skycatcher. A great attempt by Cessna to enter the light sport category. The 162 was supposed to be the entry level airplane, particularly for the training market. Also a great time builder for the pilot owner. With a maximum range of 540 miles, we had a flight ceiling of 15,500 feet and a cruise speed of 112 knots. Unfortunately, since this aircraft went into production in 2013, it's kind of gone down the hill from there. Some pilots would tell you this was a rush product. Some would tell you they don't love it because it was built in China. And some pilots would tell you they just prefer flying the Cessna 172. In the end, Cessna decided to pull the plug on this aircraft in 2014. You may still find some Cessna 162 in the market today, Perhaps you get one as a collectible item because the production is no more. And the last airplane on the list is the Cessna TTX. 
The Cessna TTX was a remake of the Columbia 400, an experimental airplane that later became certified. I have to admit that Cessna did a great job with this airplane, and at the time, the Cessna TTX was the fastest single engine production airplane with a cruise speed north of 200 knots and you had a stall speed of only 55 knots. The TTX also is a true cross country bird with over a thousand nautical miles in range and you are flying behind a twin turbocharged engine that will pull this plane at over 1500 feet a minute and climb. Unfortunately, Cessna decided to pull the plug on the TTX back in 2018. You may still find some in the used market today, but finding parts and support for this aircraft may be a challenge. And that is all I have for you for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with somebody. And also make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike. Be sure to check out my flight school, lookupflightschool.com to get your pilot's license and to become an airline pilot. See you on the next video.